You looking to pack on mass? Watch this. Our next caller is Mason from Oregon. Mason, what the hell, man? How you doing? Yeah. Hello. You just move in or what? Man, this is so weird. I've never actually seen you guys on video. Oh. So this is kind of weird. Well, anyway, take I've a, always been on go, audio. Go ahead and take a second yeah. to breathe it in. Just drink it in. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's, awesome. What's your question, man? Okay, so I've been listening to you guys for a while, and I haven't really like started working out or gotten healthy a whole lot. I've just been, I'm 18, so I've just been living and eating whatever my parents make. And I'm trying to get and make my own food. And I'm trying to learn how to get into all this fitness and living healthy and whatnot. And you guys always seem to talk about people who have more like knowledge about all this. So where to start for you? Yes. Yeah, so I'm trying to figure out where to start. Are you, are you living with your parents still? Or are you moving out, going to school right now? Um, I live with my parents kind of my dad kind of comes and goes because this is his second house okay so uh, he kind of comes and goes are you okay with um preparing some of your meals yeah okay all right so uh i want you to if you can go shopping or have your mom go shopping with you buy yourself some bulk ground beef yeah some rice some frozen vegetables we chicken, the thighs. Monster mash. chicken thighs yeah uh, and once a week, get on the grill and make yourself a bunch of food that you could package up. And now you have meals. Very easy way to eat the type of diet you want. Because in your question, it says, you didn't ask us this, but it says here in the question that you want to build as much muscle as possible, right? Yeah? Okay. So that's step one. Get the ground beef, tuna fish, chicken thighs, white rice, potatoes, frozen vegetables, maybe some fruit, and then prepare your meals so that you have your food all week. As far as lifting weights is concerned, do you have any of our programs? Uh, no, I've never really understood what I should get. Oh, MAPS Anabolic. Anabolic yeah. all day. Done deal. Yeah. MAPS Anabolic. Follow the three-day-a-week version. Eat uh, all the all that food that we're talking about. Try and hit about... Yeah. Uh, 170 maybe, in protein. Yeah, try to eat about 170, 200 grams of protein a day. So... You figure you're going to eat, let's say you eat four meals a day, throw, you know, 50 grams of protein at each one. So it's a nice serving of meat in each one. And you will put on some serious muscle. Like if you haven't done it. this before, yeah, it. I I remember trying to coach a lot of my high school athletes and, and they were way under calories. And it was just, they didn't realize that like you really have to put some effort and intention around that of getting these meals in. So just have having it planned is going to really help you. I'd almost let you eat anything else that you want as long as you hit your 170 grams of protein. I'd keep it that yeah. simple for you at not this point. Not with protein Protein's shakes, Protein is the yeah. biggest yeah. target no, no. for you. Make sure you say not with protein shakes because sometimes you tell a kid that and they throw a bunch of shakes at themselves. Wait. It's true. Stay away from the shakes? No, no, no. Don't stay away from them, but hit the 170 grams from food. Whole foods first. Only yeah. use the shakes as an emergency. Like, ah, oh, shit, I didn't hit my, my okay. protein today, so I'm going to add some protein tonight. It, literally, just if you go after 170 grams of protein every day, and then the other stuff, like, I really would let you pretty much eat what you want to eat as long as you hit your 170 grams of protein and then train MAPS Anabolic at least two to three times a week. That's it. Like, mm -hmm. literally just focus on that for right now. And you're going to see a tremendous, and it's going to lay a solid foundation that we can build on it from there. Mesa, I'm going to tell you, are you working out right now? Um, I'm current. So my dad, I'm trying to get a gym membership, but I'm trying to get it under my parents' business so that I don't have to pay for it. They can write it off, <laughs> yeah. but I'm trying to fight through them getting it and trying to push them to it. All right. Hey, I got one more piece of advice for you, Mason. Go get your own membership, pay for it yourself. I want you now, this is, you're 18, you're, you're, you're a man now. Go out. Yeah, this is what true. you want to accomplish. You want to make this happen. Don't rely on your parents. Don't rely on anybody else. Go get yourself a gym membership, a place that has a squat rack. So you can get, you got barbell work. That's all you need. Doesn't matter if the gym is small, dirty, old, whatever. You got barbell, dumbbells, adjustable bench, and a rack. You're set. Follow MAPS Anabolic. Hit 170, 200 grams of protein a day. You're 18, 5'11", 170 pounds, it says here. You will gain 15 pounds yeah. of muscle in the next three months if you do that. what I'm telling you consistently. Right. Like you'll gain between 12 to 15 pounds guaranteed. What will get in your way is if you get shitty sleep or you skip meals uh, every other day. For sure, that'll be the, the hard. You, the hardest thing is going to be hitting the grams of protein every day because it can't sure. be a, I hit it two or three days and then I fuck it off for yeah. four days. Easy like you, to miss. You got to do it yeah, the, every the day. Eat. 
you know, the eating part is hard because I eat usually a bowl of cereal and then I eat like four sandwiches for lunch. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, no. And I then know, I, I eat, eat anything. <laughs> okay. So let, whatever let, I can eat. So let, let's this. break those two things down and why that's such a terrible strategy for you. Okay. First of all, cereal is just a bunch of carbs and sugar. There's hardly any protein yeah, whatsoever. Like 10 grams of protein so you start your day off. You're already behind, behind the eight ball. You're already having a hard time getting your protein. And then for lunch, you eat a bunch of bread. Which is going to fill you up on yeah. carbohydrates. Slice of turkey. And, and most sandwiches, bro, have like four ounces of meat on it. If you go to Subway and get a big ass large sandwich from Subway or Togo's or any of those places, it's four ounces of meat. You need to be eating like eight to 10 ounces of meat when you eat. So you need to start your day. And now a great way to do this is like, yeah, let's say for breakfast. You, you, you eat all this, you barbecue or you cook up all this meat that we're talking about, whether it be ground beef in an iron skillet and you just do it in bulk with a bunch of rice. And then for the morning, literally just take the leftovers and crack a couple eggs and scramble it all together in one skillet and throw some cheese and salsa on it and crush it. Like that just don't don't overcomplicate it. Like ground beef with a like ground beef that you eat with rice for dinner is great for breakfast with a couple eggs on it and some cheese. Like now you got yourself like this huge protein bomb that tastes really good and it's fast you literally take it out because you've prepared your meals like sal saying and you just throw it in the iron skillet you crack two eggs on it scramble that shit up cook it for literally like three to four minutes and then throw some cheese on it and now you got a great breakfast dude you eat a couple pounds of meat a day and you and you work out consistently three days a week and you make sure you go to bed at a normal time and wake up at a normal time that's it you'll gain 15 pounds of muscle so fast you'll get stretch marks at your age uh, and your height and everything. Yeah. But you have to be consistent, like really cons- like every day, Saturday and Sunday too, every day. Don't be like, I'm, you know, I'm going to sleep in until noon. Well, now you're screwed because now you're not going to hit those. Pro- every single day for the next three months, MAPS Anabolic is about three months long. You'll pack on enough muscle to where your parents are going to be like, what's going on here? What's happening? You're going to get hella chicks, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Hell of chicks. Taking your shirt off everywhere. Don't let that distract you because they're going to come on fast, bro. Yep. Yeah. He's like, uh, let me close the door. Uh, I don't uh, want my parents to hear that. <laughs> See what happened? This conversation's getting real. Either that or his, girl- <laughs> yeah. that or his girlfriend's out there. Uh, they're just kidding, honey. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's, I'm currently working right now. So. Oh, oh I see. Okay. We don't want your boss to say Don't get my. Wolf. I got my lunch period. So. Oh, well, you need that job to pay for that gym membership. So those yeah. don't get fired. So yeah. go take, yeah. literally keep it that simple, bro. That's keep, it. Keep, we're going to send you maps anabolic. Go do that. You, you don't need a fancy gym. Just get the most basic thing to get you going. Follow that. And then circle back and, right. and, and follow up with us. Yeah, in a few so months. what about my, should I get like a trainer or whatnot? Because the gym that I go to, it's like 20 something bucks a month. That's really close to my house. We hear you. We hear you. good. Oh, oh no, you're not. We lost either. him. Yeah. Well, we can we can address. He was going to ask about a trainer. Well, fuck. He, I thought he couldn't afford a membership. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. yeah. Let's start there. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no. I, if he if he could afford a trainer, great. If not, then no. Yeah. Just do what we tell what we said. That that I, that that's it, man. Hit the protein intake. Eat what you want to eat. Train and, and as long as you hit that. And pe- people listening, if you're like if you're this age yeah. and you're it's listening right now, that, really, I'm like it's. I swear to God, what we're saying is 100 percent the answer. The mm-hmm. reason why it's so hard is because kids are inconsistent. Yep, and they'll they, do this for three days and then they won't do it for. And three they'll days. do exactly what he just the said. Most important factor: cereal for breakfast, yeah. Yeah. sandwiches. That was actually like that is the bro. Exact, that's every kid I know. Yeah. That was me. That was me. It was yeah. like, and then yeah. when I started tracking, I realized like, oh my god, there's like no protein in any of these meals. No wonder I was grossly under eating protein. Switched that up, and then it was like, yep. game changer. Yep. So hundred percent. 